In the past year, bezels have shrunk to be almost non-existent, but Xiaomi was one of the first to give this full screen look a try with the Mi Mix. The follow-up to that phone is the subject of our video today, the Mi Mix 2. I'm Adam Dowd with Bored at Work, and this is our full review brought to you by The Solution Shop. The Mi Mix 2 is arguably our favorite review phone of the year. That is the year 2017, sorry about the late review. This phone is all about the screen on the front and equally gorgeous hardware everywhere else. The build quality on this phone is wonderful. Starting off on the front, you need to address this awesome 5.99 inch LCD screen. You have an 18 by 9 aspect ratio at 1080 by 2160 resolution, resulting in 403 pixels per inch. The screen is beautiful with great color reproduction. It's all covered by Gorilla Glass 4. The screen also lies above the 5 megapixel selfie camera located below and to the right. This is kind of weird, to be honest, but we'll talk about that in a bit. On the right side of the phone, you'll find the power and volume rocker. On the bottom, the dual speaker ports hide the fact that there is only one speaker, which is easily covered when playing a game or watching a video. There is no headphone jack, though you'd think they could have put one where that second speaker grill is. Not that we're bitter or anything. Between the speaker grills, you'll find a USB Type-C charging and data port. On the back, you'll find a ceramic backplate with a bit of branding, a very fast fingerprint sensor, a single 12 megapixel camera, and a dual tone flash. Beneath that ceramic backplate is a Snapdragon 835 processor. Our review unit came with 6GB of RAM and 120GB of onboard storage. This phone also carries a 3400mAh non-removable battery. All of this paints a picture of gorgeous looking hardware. On the software side, things are, well, less awesome. It's MIUI, take it or leave it. There are a few places it simply doesn't compare with a modern Android experience. Take for example the notification shape. In Android, when you get, say, multiple emails, you can pull down the notification to expand it. You can on MIUI too, but it requires two fingers for some reason. The home screen is nice because swiping down anywhere in the home screen gets you the notification shade, and you can also use dual apps which allows you to have multiple icons for multiple logins for a single app, and that's really nice to have. You can also hide your navigation buttons in case this silly sized screen isn't big enough for you. Most annoyingly, SMS messaging does not allow for group texts. Many of my kids' activities are coordinated by group SMS. That is really annoying. The Quick Ball is a fun addition that allows you to quickly access up to five apps or phone functions via a floating ball. When you don't need it, the ball swipes off the screen. When you do need it, just swipe in, similar to Samsung's Edge. It's about as out of the way as you can get, and that is something we'll miss using other devices. As for the battery, it's pretty great! During our review period, we averaged about five hours of screen on time, but in a few instances, we got as much as six and a half hours. That is, simply put, awesome. We've never had any doubts about this phone's longevity, even during the busy holiday season with lots of time being out and about, taking photos, etc. Call quality on the phone is pretty good. Callers were clear and reported the same to us. One issue we need to address though is, almost every time we had a long conversation, the line would just cut off. There's no rhyme nor reason to the drop call, it would simply decide we were done talking and disconnect. It didn't happen every time, but it happened often enough to be really annoying. As for the camera, it definitely falls into the good but not great category. There aren't a whole lot of options for various shooting modes. You have your basics, beauty shot, panorama, and the like. There's also some filters you can apply. There's also a manual mode, but it's very limited. Also, it should be mentioned that while we appreciate bold moves, Xiaomi has the audacity to watermark photos with Mi Mix 2 branding, and that option is on by default. Put simply, f*** that. The camera performance itself is okay in good light, and that's just okay. Don't try to shoot subjects that are moving. In low light, your results will vary. Focusing on subjects can also be tricky, which boils down to this is not a good camera experience. It's just okay, but that's not acceptable in flagship hardware. Xiaomi has a lot of work to do in this area. Switching back to the front side of the phone, the selfie camera is located at the bottom of the phone. That makes the full screen possible but it comes at the cost of being very close to where normal people hold the phone when taking selfies, resulting in some hands showing up in the shot. That is if you forget to turn the phone over. We get it, and it's necessary, 
but it seems off somehow. Overall, this was one of our favorite phones. This phone has a goal, and that is to be as much screen as possible. And it accomplishes that mission without the compromises of other devices with similar goals. The Mi Mix 2 is getting us closer to that elusive phone that is simply all screen, and we love that. What we don't love is the software, and the fact that it's kind of a pain to get a hold of in Western markets, unless of course you use a company like The Solution Shop. Beyond that, this is a great phone with a great design that is pushing the boundaries towards a bezel-less future, one bottom firing selfie at a time. Thanks for checking out our full review of the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2. Be sure to give this video a little thumb love if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe. Click the little bell icon to get new videos as they hit the airwaves. Once again, I'm Adam Dowd with Board at Work, Dead Technology on Twitter, reminding you to always enjoy your entertainment. You may be asking yourself, I live in the United States. How can I get a phone like the Mi Mix 2? The Solution Shop generously provided us with our review phone, and you can order yours there as well. Just click on the link in the description below. The Solution Shop offers a two-year warranty on all phones, tax prepaid shipping to over 30 countries, and a great support team available 15 hours a day, Monday through Saturday. Order your Xiaomi Mi Mix 2 at the Solution Shop today by clicking on the link in the video description. And once again, we thank them for sponsoring this video.